welcome friends uh, now we are going to talk about the difference between the nuclear dna inheritance pattern and the mitochondrial dna inheritance pattern now as you can see in this picture and that the nuclear dna inherits from uh, both our mother and father if we look at different generations like this is the generation uh, this is the parent generation or g0 we say this is g1 g2 and it is g3 now if we look uh, into the nuclear dna patterns or the dna materials that uh, we have uh, how that nuclear dna came to be existed in, into our cell from our ancestors we can see uh, uh, the donation of both uh, from both my our mother and father is important for contributing to to hold uh, the nuclear DNA structures like that suppose we are having a particular characteristic in the chromosome or something like that that must be inherited not only by uh, one of our parents but uh, by both of our parents okay and uh, as you can see in this picture in all these cases it, it can come throughout this so so the spectrum of this inheritance is broad as you can see in this case this this uh, red colored area is denoted with the spectrum of this inheritance now inherit this DNA and it is really broad because uh, it is uh, actually spread throughout all of our ancestors uh, irrespective of different gender okay but if you look at the inheritance pattern of mitochondrial DNA it varies it not uh, at all broad like uh, the nuclear DNA if we see here in the first generation like 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 this one like suppose this is uh, me and I am having my uh, mitochondrial DNA from from whom uh, answer is from my mom from my mom and where from where she uh, she was having uh, her mitochondrial DNA from her mom and her mom I is having it from her mom so it is only uh, carried out throughout this female gender it is not at all paternally uh, trans transform or transfused or sorry the paternally uh, uh, transferred from one to another it it, it have only one path uh, for transferring it and that is uh, from the maternal origin so only the maternal origin matters in this case so uh, this mitochondrial DNA always uh, maternally inherited from one to another and w that from another to another individual okay so that is the difference main difference between the nuclear DNA and mitochondrial DNA now the question comes why and how uh, this mitochondrial DN DNA is inherited only maternally not paternally the answer is as we know this mitochondria is an organelle inside a eukaryotic cell so if we think about a, uh, the, the fertilization from uh, where we are we can see the contribution of both nucleuses one male nucleuses which come from the sperm and one female uh, nucleus which came from the egg uh, which is uh, produced by mother so egg produced by mother inside where we are having the nucleus as well as we are having all the different organelles or the supporting organelles for life on the other hand we are having the sperm cell inside where we are having only the nucleus because sperm cells have mitochondria but that on only can can be found on this collar region because it helps to generate lot of energy during the sperm mortality okay but except for that there are very less amount of mitochondria inside the cell of the sperm inside the body of the sperm so what we are end up with we are having uh, the base the actual base wh which which uh, which actually helps uh, those nucleus to fuse and go on like a zygote the m actual matrix for a zygote came from the mother cell that means from the egg cell and the egg cell contains the mitochondria of our mom so what happens when uh, this uh, two nucleus fuse with each other and finally make something called the zygote and uh, it is fertilized and finally it will go through the different stages like modula blastula glastula and finally make the embryo embryonic development and it will finally make the offspring what it ends up with it ends up with the mitochondria which came from the mother not the father so that is why we are end up we are having end up with uh, the mitochondrial dna from our mom only not from our father so that is the very very important concept about the mitochondrial dna inheritance pattern so so any change in this mitochondrial dna segment d in during this fertilization scheme or uh, in our mom will definitely show effect on all the offspring i am emphasizing it all the offspring uh, in in the pop, in, in the next generation from from their mo mother so that is really important so any single mutation any small mutation small changes in mitochondrial dna even can lead up to the large effect 
in inside in, in between uh, different species in between or, or in between same uh, sa same species or sometimes in between the same type uh, of uh, organisms like like human so you can see if we look uh, at the, the mitochondrial dna and look at the difference between the mitochondrial dna you can find the difference between mitochondrial dna between two human beings and the difference is remarkably huge it is point for four two percent uh, difference between the mitochondrial DNA of two human being where is uh, only difference between the nuclear DNA between human and chimpanzees are two percent so that is how you can you can relate how much this mitochondrial DNA inheritance pattern is important and how much is important to conserve the sequence of mitochondrial DNA okay and uh, it, it can also have different faults okay so uh, that's it and I hope it will help you thank you